Okay, still the same day, which is what, 18th? Yeah, March 18th. Um, I decided that the best method might be the easiest method for um, this three quarter inch drill. Um, my Bosch here is a 5 8 inch chuck. And so I decided to quit overthinking things and just tackle the problem a little more simply. Since I only needed to take an eighth of an inch off, or a sixteenth of an inch off actually. Um, I just put this in my grinder, my my bench grinder, my wheel grinder, and and ground it down, and it's it's working just absolutely fine. Um, I drilled a hole through here. I drilled a half inch pilot hole, and then I went with a three quarter inch, and uh, it worked fine. And then I ran the because this is two feet long. This three quarter inch is two feet long. And then I ran the three quarter inch ship auger in the three quarter inch hole, and I finished boring it out just fine. It was nice and straight and, and, and smooth with the three quarter inch uh, ship auger. Now I bought a three six or a thirteen sixteenths inch ship auger, thinking that I might want to. It might be too difficult to drive in, and so I might want something a little oversized for the first, you know, 18 inches or whatever. So I bought this 13 16 inch and tried to run it down the 3 quarter inch hole. And I don't know if you can see what happened here. It's not focusing, is it? it maybe it is there. Sorry, kind of. Uh, it didn't, uh, didn't stay straight. It actually wandered enough that it wandered into into this hole here, the 13 16 inch hole did, our auger bit did. Um, yeah, so that's probably not going to work. But honestly, I think I'm fine with the three quarter inch, this straight split point bit. I think that's getting me deep enough, far enough into the keel. That I can finish it out with, with with a ship auger, and it's there's enough straightness there to, to keep it going straight for the last, you know, not a whole lot actually, because where I need the length is back here, and I have the half inch bits because these are all going to have to be half inch up here, and then starting right up here you've got maybe 34 inches or whatever, so I can get 24 of that drilled. Or 23 actually with that three-quarter split point bit and then I think I can finish it out with a three-quarter and I think they'll drive in all right because the, the ship augers tend to, to ream them out just a little bit anyway so I think I'm gonna be all right there I think I'm gonna be able to get those done and then it narrows up here or you know it gets narrower here or thinner here and then it stays pretty consistent here um, and then it gets smaller up there of course I'll be able to get through that completely with my 24 inch bit so that's good news um, and I didn't have to fuss around with getting the lathe set up spending a couple hundred bucks on a new motor for my lathe or... actually I do have three phases in my garage but that's not where the lathe is anymore so I could rewire now so I was thinking about doing is running a new wire out to the, to the building that the lathe is in three phase because um, I've got a rotary phase converter out there in the garage for the milling machine. It used to be the lathe hooked up to it as well, but anyway, um, so I'm not even going to have to do that. I got this drill bit to work in this in this Bosch 5 8 inch chuck. And these up here are all under 24 inches. Ooh, I'm going to have a hard time drilling. Yeah, I wanted to put a bolt in here and here. I think I'll still be able to get those in with that piece up there. If not, I can get this one in here and then put that one, middle one in later. But anyway, so good news. Uh, I think we're set. I think I'm done buying drill bits, even though I've spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on drill bits. I think I'm done for a while. And hundreds and hundreds on drills, too, but that's beside the point. Anyway, so I just thought I would share that. Success and failures. But it's going to work, so we're good.